What's going on guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are officially in Sydney. So we have landed in Sydney. We're living in these beautiful, beautiful apartments with Jeremy's sister. And this is what it looks like downstairs. You walk down and there's like a bunch of shops. It's like really pretty. There's like buildings everywhere. We absolutely love it here. It's just so different. It's a little bit cold today. When we arrived it was kind of nice weather. Like not too cold and then yesterday got colder and this morning it's really cold but we're gonna be walking to the gym now yeah i don't know where we're going <laughs> we're, we're going to fitness first we signed up for like a three-day free trial yesterday so we're gonna go for our day two i'm gonna be training legs today i still have my hour of cardio and we're definitely going the wrong direction so, <laughs> is it we, no oh, yeah, outside. yeah, yeah. Outside. Yeah, so we've got a lot of steps in here, which is great. But yeah, I still have to do my cardio. Progress been going good. The prep face is coming in. I'm starting to get like loose skin on my face, but that's good and normal. I'm super, super flat, all time low, all that stuff. So we are on track, it doesn't feel the best. And I mean, being flat is not ideal, but at least we were not flat on Shredder, that's all that matters. You have to go through this phase of being insanely insanely flat before you can get to the next level of lean that you need to be so that's where i'm at at the moment yeah i told you it's cold today so i wore another jacket so yesterday i went to woolies to like do my meal prep and whatnot we managed to walk there it's so nice to be able to like walk to woolies and then like walk to the gym and we've literally walked everywhere um, today we might be going somewhere a little bit further, so we will Uber. Go on our first little adventure away from this area. We're not in like the main Sydney, Sydney area. We're kind of like Sydney-ish around there. Um, but there's so much stuff here already, like so much food and so much shops and just like literally everything and everything's like walking distance. It's great. May stay here for longer. I don't actually. We we'll, we don't actually have a flight back to Perth. So if we really enjoy it, we might stay for longer. We are here. It's literally like a like four minute walk. Like it's so close, so good. Training and everything is done. So we're off to go exploring now. So in Sydney, we ride the train. We don't even need to like have any kind of card. We just like tap our bank card, which is so cool and convenient. Something that Perth definitely does not have. It's like pretty quiet and empty right now. It's kind of weird. <laughs> the trains are double decker. How cool is that? to go on I the just, train. I'm just a tourist in Australia, you know what I'm saying? Never seen a double deck train before. That's for everything. First time going. That's for everything. Jeremy doesn't really like public transport. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Here we are. But, well, you know, gotta live. Gotta experience things, you know? Yum. All the stuff I can't have. Breath top. This really reminds me of like Singapore, Malaysia. Oh my god, they have a Hokkaido cheese pot! <laughs> wow. It's like not even the main area, but it's like it's so cool, there's so much stuff. It's a lot of things. A lot of people. A lot of people not wearing masks as well. It's like a mini city, pretty much. 
<laughs> we have arrived at Westfield. This is probably where we're gonna be like hanging out, shopping, or walking around today. I'm gonna go get some food for Jeremy first. I pack food, so it's time to eat as well for me anyway. So I'm gonna go yeah, find some place to eat. I'm gonna sit there and enjoy the views and the smells and then eat my chicken and asparagus. And we're at the food court. Wow, what is this? This looks good. It's like egg spot. But it's like goo like googies. <laughs> it's good, I've had it. Like, I haven't tried it, but I've tried it with spots too. Yeah, because we have a place like that in like Perth Pot Egg Spot. Uh, yeah. It looks exactly like that. It's so good. I think it's so you can walk like one round first and then decide. Noodle warrior. Noodle warrior. Noodle warrior. Oh, no. oh my goodness. Wow, this is like freaking Asia in here. But the food's all good here. It's like major jealous right now. But it's so cute, the decorations in here and everything. Super cute, look at this. You can get your um uh, the um noodle salad if you want. Remember? I don't know. Too much choices is too hard. Yeah, it's way too, too many hard. decisions for you. I don't know what to do. Oh no. What do I do? I will live through you. <gasps> Malaysian food. A bowl, yeah. yeah, like a like a yakini kudon. That's good. pretty healthy. Yeah, I might do this. Like teriyaki chicken don or something. I am now home. So after like shopping we came back i had another meal and then i finished off 30 minutes of cardio on the cross trainer practiced a little bit of posing and i'm home now so I just want to do a little bit of a haul for what I got. I did buy a few things, so it's just it's not a lot of things, but I shall lie, I didn't buy Jeremy bought it for me, but I'm just gonna show you guys what I got. This is a great deal I got from Kukai. So it was like originally $50 and I got it for $15 because it was on sale. Usually with Kukai, I'm a size zero and they like never have my size, but I guess I was lucky because they had my size. So it's just this cute, little blue crop top if you watch my pack with me you would know that like i literally brought only black and white stuff so it's nice that it's blue and then there's a little tie thing at the bottom so you can tie it like across your midsection like that however you like but anyways it's super cute it was 15 dollars from kukai so great deal on that one i'm super happy that i scored that okay in case you're wondering i will be buying extra baggage <laughs> before i go home so i will be able to fit um some extra stuff and then i went to mecca i mean this bag is a little bit unnecessary yeah this bag's a bit unnecessary but all i got was uh oh beauty blender from mecca and then this is the best thing i got i'm so excited oh actually two more things so i went to innisfree so i don't know if you guys know but um it's pretty much like a korean brand i always get from singapore and perth does not have it so i was really excited to find it innisfree and i got this cherry blossom toner so i'm nearly finishing with the current toner that i have so this will be great i got this toner and then this is the most exciting piece that i got it was not on sale it was a little bit pricey and it's from zara and it's this cute little cropped with a like kind of like big shoulders um little tail turtleneck so it's like super super cute i feel like this will be great in new york so anyways i'm super excited to 
wear this. Thank you so much to Jeremy for getting it for me. Let me see how much it was actually. Do they still have the tag? So yeah, it was like $75, which is like a little bit pricey for Zara, but it is very good quality and it's nice and warm and it's a really cute color and I love it. So tomorrow, again, same thing with cardio. I'm going to check in and see. I hope I don't drop any more weight. I just want to maintain the current weight that I am at. Again, I'm very flat and I just I feel flat and small at the moment, but it's better than rushing. So I'm like ready and like, I'm glad that I'm ready early. Just a little bit early, but ready early is good. But yeah, I do feel small and depleted and just really flat. So I hope I don't lose any extra weight. Just want to like maintain my weight here where it is and get leaner. I don't know if the weight drops, the weight drops. But either way, I just want to get a tiny bit leaner and then I think it will be good. We'll just see what coach says. I will take progress photos for him tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, so I have pretty much nine days. So I've got nine days to go. I'm really excited. I just hope I look better and better every day. I'll do whatever I can. So tomorrow I'll probably be training upper body and we'll do an hour of cardio, practice posing, and then head to the city for some shopping and more steps. I'm really excited. Tomorrow we go to like the main Sydney city because today we're just kind of hanging out in North Sydney, which was already awesome. So can't wait to head into the city tomorrow. We just arrived at the city or town hall station. We took the train here and there's so much going on here. It reminds me of Singapore so much. Wow, that looks good. Starbucks. So we're gonna get some Starbucks because that's the only thing I can have. <laughs> I'm pretty excited honestly. Got our coffee. Guess whose name? His name is Bobby. Anytime, that's my pseudo name. Anytime we go anywhere that like they ask oh, what, what name should we put it under? Yeah. It's always Bobby. One time I forgot and he was like, why didn't you say Bobby? Next time you see me, you have to call me Bobby. Then I know you're watching Indian Post videos. <laughs> so I got a cold brew. Um, I got a cold brew with one pump sugar-free syrup. They normally do five. So I'm trying to limit my um, artificial sweetness, of course. So just one pump of sugar-free syrup and a little bit of cinnamon on top. So special Nicole Tan order. So this is where bank accounts go to die. Bank leave. Fendi down there. This is the all popular David Jones, which I'm really scared to go into, but we probably will later. We got Prada. And then Gucci down there, which I will go into later. But first stop for me is to the MS store because if you have been an OG follower, you guys would have known I bought my Hermes about two years ago and then I was crying slash complaining about the fact that I spent all this money in a belt that does not fit me. Like it does fit me, but it's not tight enough to be used for what it's supposed to be used for, as in like tightening my loose pants. So they told me I could bring it into the store and they'll gladly punch a few holes for me and whatever for free. Um, however, obviously, you know, there's no MS in Perth, so I had to wait till I had the chance to get out of Perth to finally go into an MS store and get them to punch a hole in my belt for me, which they will measure up nicely and put a hole in. So I'm really excited for that. Are you heading to Cardia? Emma's counter, look at that. Beautiful Birkin just kind of sitting there. This is their display. So pretty. There is a little bit of a line. The entrance is around this side, but I'll just show you guys what they have. The display, some shoes, super cute. And then a few SLGs. The line is over there. So mission accomplished at Gucci. 
I've got what I wanted. I will show you guys later what I got. <laughs> yeah, all done with shopping. I got some earrings for Jeremy from Bagari as well, and they're beautiful. So um, we have like a family dinner tonight because it's like Easter. So we're gonna get them some really bougie Easter eggs and check out this freaking chocolate store. Oh my god, look at this chocolate! And these ginormous Easter eggs. Done with all the shopping! Yeah. <laughs> Creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit, so sharp, so freezing So cold, behold, frostbite, they feel I could tear you apart or I could go heal them Don't believe in faith, don't believe in ceilings I just need a taste and my mind starts feeling I don't pace myself, I grind on kneeling Got lust for change, I just love the feeling uh. I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb Eight days out, and obviously, I mean, good spirits. I just got a workout in this morning. I haven't done any cardio today yet so far. Yesterday, um, ended up coming home at one, or well, ended up sleeping at one. I got home around 12 just because family dinner ran a little bit late and it was a little bit far away, but everyone was having so much fun. I didn't want to make everyone go home and yeah, I, I really enjoyed. I have really been enjoying my time prepping here. I didn't know how I'll go, but I just had a feeling that like once I got out of Perth and into a different environment, like I could just refocus in a whole different way and just be happy. And it's been so nice and refreshing. I've just had the best last few days of prep here. Like everything has been amazing, amazing so far down to the beautiful weather and everything and um yeah i'm just really excited i want to share with you guys my update photos i'm gonna pop them up over here exclusive physique update so this is how i look like this morning on track new low weight in very flat but i'm very happy with how i'm looking and um just talking to coach at the moment to see what the plan's gonna be so we are we're eight days out and um i think i'm ready so <laughs> we made it oh my god it's been so hard so so hard getting here but now we are ready we're already a week early so we'll see what he has planned for me he reckons exactly how i am today would be exactly the kind of conditioning we want to bring in a week's time so not getting any leaner we're maintaining from here filling out a little bit more see how i go see how i look and um, we'll see how my body responds to some carbs. Today is Good Friday and I will be only eating seafood so uh, no chicken or beef mince for me today. I had uh, eggs for breakfast and then I just had uh, Greek yogurt with some protein muesli for my second meal. 
which I literally found and picked up from here so I just tested it out to see how my body would react to it and it reacted fine so I decided to have it and then my next three meals will just be brown Monday fish and um, we'll see how it goes but I just wanted to wrap up today's video because it's getting a little bit long and I probably will do a part two of Sydney but I'm just so blessed so happy like I'm literally sitting on the balcony right now and it's been really great really nice and I have a massage booked later for four o'clock today so plan today is to chill out I've been walking around a lot the last few days my steps have been sky high so I guess that has really really helped with me getting lean as well just getting my knee up I've just being in good energy good spirits yes I have been hungry and yes I've been tired but it's all very manageable and I'm just feeling very blessed and happy and just I'm so glad we've made it here like you, you guys know how much I've struggled but my body has been good to me the last few days and um, I think it's because I'm happy and I'm in a good place and I'm just living my best life this is only the beginning I'm so ready and open for everything and um, I feel great I'm ready I'm ready to go tired but I am so happy so ready thank you guys for coming along my journey i hope you've enjoyed my sydney vlog i don't know if the camera stuff is as good as ethan's it's probably not but i hope you enjoyed me kind of doing like a self vlog thing again sometimes i do miss doing this i hope you guys like when i vlog myself as well i know you guys love ethan's videos but um yeah we don't have him with us in sydney but he will meet us in melbourne so we will catch up with him there um but thank you guys for watching and i will catch you guys in the next one